data analysts repeatedly report that in the entire scope of a data analysis project, cleaning up the data and preparing it for analysis takes around 80% of the total project time. And the annual, the actual analysis takes only around 20%. In this video, we're going to look at why data cleansing is so important for such a project. So why is data cleansing so important? The driving principle is garbage in, garbage out. The quality of the data you put into the project reflects the quality of the analysis you'll finally get out of it. When dealing with data mining and data analysis, one basic thing you really have to keep in mind is that as long as you give the algorithm or the computer procedure the data in the format it's expecting, guaranteed it's going to give you a result. Now, what exactly does that result mean though? Because if the, re the data you gave is garbage data and meaningless, well, it will give you a result, but then the result is also garbage and meaningless. And the big challenge here is that you don't always know, very often you don't know that the data to begin with is garbage. And so the results you get that might seem to make sense, you don't realize that they're garbage either. So this is a, a real concern. And this issue is even more of a concern in the age of big data. And that is the fact that today uh, it's much easier to get larger data sets and to store it in much larger quantities. But if there are problems with the data, whether they're errors, missing values, or some other anomalies, with the size of the data set, the problems are multiplied. And it is even harder to verify the entire data set, to verify the accuracy and cleanliness of the entire data set. And another concern is that the easier it is to collect the data, which today is so easy with sensors and with social media and um, the internet, well, the easier it is to accumulate errors. And the harder it is to collect data, if you're doing maybe personal surveys and recording information by hand, those are situations where it's easier to control errors, though it doesn't eliminate them uh, entirely. Uh, this video doesn't talk about how to solve the problems, but it tries to raise your awareness of the issues. And uh, for some further information, there are a couple of articles that are linked here, which give an idea of the extent of this problem. So this uh, first article talks about four data horror stories when good data goes bad. I'm not going to go into uh, depth with them. It's for your reading. Uh, but uh, they talk about issues like when marketers or customer service representatives don't like customers and they put uh, insults in their names and that data is not cleaned up and eventually goes out to a mailing to the customers. Talks about uh, men, uh, pa male patients at the hospital sent out invitations uh, to for pregnancy checks because it's been recorded they're pregnant even though they're males and other anomalies which should have been caught but can be very embarrassing for organizations. The second article uh, talks about if your data is bad, your machine learning tools are useless. So it really emphasizes the points I've made here, but uh, that article does provide some solutions in a more organizational sense, how to structure your project to incorporate uh, data quality checks into them. So the, the main purpose of this video has been to sensitize you uh, to the issues and to realize how important it is to assure the cleanliness of the data for your data analysis projects.